Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a technician at Dove Lewis and I want to talk to you today about how to safely store and handle insulin. So um, one of the first things I like to do before handling insulin is wash my hands. It is really important to make sure that you're not introducing any bacteria and that you're starting with a clean slate. So I've pulled insulin from the fridge and um, insulin is normally stored in the refrigerator, but um, there are a couple insulins that are recommended to store at room temperature. So it's really important that you follow the recommendation of your veterinarian on where the best place to store the insulin is. Um, in this case, I, I pulled this from the fridge um, and I need to just invert it several times. Um, this again, can depend on the type of insulin. So this one says to invert it. Some will say to roll it um, like this in your hands. So make sure that you're aware of the right way to kind of uh, resuspend all the drug particles that are in that so they can settle down um, and um, kind of be heavier on the bottom. So we want to make sure that they're evenly distributed throughout the medication. So this one I've inverted for the recommended number of times and I can take the cap off and drop the medication. Okay. So I'm gonna be drawing up 12 units of insulin and um, one safety check I like to do is make sure that my syringe says the same thing that the insulin bottle says. So if you see here, that says U100 and that talks about the, the size of the syringe and my insulin bottle will also say that. So it says here, 100 units per ml. So that's the same um, thing. So these are both U100, but another common um, size that you can get in both insulin and the syringe is U40. And that can make a huge difference to a small animal like cat. So just make sure that your syringes uh, match the insulin. Okay, next I'm gonna take the cap off the needle and turn them upright. I'm gonna inject the needle into the center of the port. The dose I need for this pet is 12 units. Um, just for visual demonstration, I have a red line on this syringe. I'm gonna pull back the plunger and I'm actually gonna pull back more than my dose. So you can see my red line is at 12 units, but I have it pulled to, let's see, I have it pulled to 17, so I got a little bit extra. And this will take a little bit of practice to get used to it, but what I wanna do next is hold this in one hand and use my other hand to flick the syringe gently. And what's that, what that is doing is getting any air bubbles up to the top. Okay, so that looks good. And now I'm gonna push the plunger so that the top of my plunger is at the top of the line there, okay? Um, so that looks good. There are times where maybe you didn't get all the air bubbles out and you're going to have to repeat that process. So if you notice that there's still air bubbles at the top of your syringe, you can just draw back more, flick it again with your finger, and then push it back up to the spot you need until you're happy with what you have. One other thing I just wanted to mention that insulin looks different sometimes. So often it's going to come in bottles like this and it might be clear, um, or it could come in something that's called a pen like this and um, it might be a little bit cloudy. So you can see the difference there. Um, and it just depends on the manufacture of the insulin. So make sure um, that you know what it's supposed to look like, how you're supposed to store it, um, and how long it's good for. And that's how you safely store and handle insulin.